Now to the Biden presidency. A very busy week in Washington continues as Congress and the Biden administration negotiate over a looming government shutdown, the potential for defaulting on government loans, and the president's legislative priorities, including an infrastructure bill and a much larger package focus on social safety programs. CBS 4 Skyler Henry has the latest from the White House. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says they will vote on a resolution to avoid a partial government shutdown set to begin Friday. We can approve this measure quickly and send it to the House so it can reach the president's desk before funding expires midnight tomorrow. But there is still an October 18th deadline to raise the debt limit, which allows the government to pay its bills. Republicans say they oppose raising the debt limit because Democrats are working to pass a $3.5 trillion spending bill on their own using a Senate tool called reconciliation. The Democrats' reckless taxing and spending spree will earn it zero votes from Senate Republicans. President Biden canceled a planned trip to Chicago in order to continue negotiations with a pair of moderate Senate Democrats who have still not signed off on the spending bill. We are at a pivotal point moment. We need to continue to work to finalize the path forward. The president met with Senators Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema yesterday, and Sinema will be back at the White House today. The two opposed the $3.5 trillion dollar price tag, accept? but won't say what they can accept. No, we haven't talked about figures at all. Let's, let's, we should be talking about the need of our country. Without the reconciliation bill, progressive Democrats in the House say they won't sign off on the president's $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill, which is scheduled for a vote Thursday. We are not confining our vision, as the president said he's not confining his, for rebuilding infrastructure to this legislation. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders added to the pressure, tweeting, I strongly urge my House colleagues to vote against the bipartisan infrastructure bill until Congress passes a strong reconciliation bill. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House. And Washington State Democratic Congresswoman Pramila Jayapal, the head of the Congressional Progressive Caucus, says 60 Democratic House members will not vote yes on infrastructure until the Senate passes the reconciliation bill. If that holds true, Democrats won't have the votes in the House to pass the infrastructure bill.